Uh, next item is uh, public comment for items not on the agenda. We do have one individual signed up to speak with us this morning, Carl Wickman. Good morning, commissioners. I'm Carl Wickman. This is a story about the power of a PDC DOS grant. Last year, the Wickman Building Coalition partners, who are Rose Community Development, Southeast Uplift, Foster Area Business Association, Foster Powell Neighborhood Association, and the Mount Scott Arlita Neighborhood Associations were awarded a DOS grant. The Wickman Coalition partner's goal is to preserve one of the most historic buildings in Southeast Portland and repurpose it to meet community needs. The Wickman building is located in the Lentz Town Center Urban Renewal Area at the corner of 64th and Holgate. It's zoned storefront commercial. In 1973, the Portland Library Association deeded the Arlita Library building and property to Multnomah County for the princely sum of zero dollars. Not a bad investment for the county. It then became the headquarters for the Multnomah County Community Action Agency. In 1982, the building was named to honor Lee Wickman, an immigrant from Finland and an MCCAA founder and chairperson. This naming resolution resulted in the first, the first government building in the state of Oregon to be named to honor a woman. And there's only two buildings of the 110 buildings in Multnomah County to be named for the woman. The other one would, be, would is my mom's good friend or was my mom's good friend, Gladys McCoy. What's the Wickman Building vision? The building would be owned by a new, profit cor new non-profit corporation. The building is to be rehabilitated and reused as a business center and event space. These uses, uses were selected because after three visioning sessions with the community, they best combined the preferences of the community with market demand and financial feasibility. Restoring this building will strengthen the heart of Foster by providing a place for community activities, programs, and events. The building will also strengthen the neighborhood economy by creating an identity and providing office spaces that may act as a business incubator. Well, how did the DOS grant help? THA, THA Architects was hired to complete a Wickman building renovation plan. In that process, the coalition partners successfully initiated an appeal of occupancy limits that increased the number of people allowed in the main space of the building from 26 to 107. That's phenomenal. This increase makes the future reuse of the building more flexible and economically viable. Also, the DOS grant helped with the acquisition price. Concurrent with the DOS work, the Portland State University School of Business did a market analysis which inventoried comparable Lentz Foster buildings. The last uh, independent appraisal of the building was done by the county in 2006, and at that time, it was valued at $750,000. When we started negotiations, the county's first price was to do the tax assessed value of $520,000, which was not based on an independent appraisal. But with the help of the PCD, PDC DOS report and the PSU market analysis, the county agreed to a new appraisal, which has resulted in our current price of $260,000. So things are really suffering in the real estate market in that part of the county. What are our next steps? We are currently looking for board members to serve on the capital campaign, building rehabilitation, program development, and governance, governance committees. If you know of anyone who is interested in a project like that, please contact us. The Wickman Building Project is the next chapter for a building that has served the Foster Road neighborhoods all the way from Arlita to Lance to Gilbert to Palhurst and on out to Bell Rose Station. On behalf of myself and my family, I want to thank the PDC for making the, PD, the DOS grant program available, and I just want to let you know how much it has helped our project. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming in this morning. About uh, six months ago, I took a, a tour of the building with Multnomah County Commissioner Judy Shiprack, uh -huh. and that's in her district, and, and she uh, is very dedicated yep. to trying to find a solution that works for that building. Uh, it, it needs some work, especially in the mechanical systems, but... It's a beautiful old building. It has great bones. I mean, it's got a lot of potential. Yeah, Commissioner Shiprack has been a very strong supporter, as well as Representative Kenny Geyer. And there's two family friends, Cindy Banzer, some of you may know, former Metro Chair and State Legislature. And I know Jeff Sackett may have been in front of you on some of his projects, too. So they're strong supporters as well, and we appreciate your, your help and support. Great. Thanks very much. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Yes.